you all know that in the last we were discussing the chapter motion and we were we come across very interesting concepts of this chapter particularly with respect to graphical representation of motion it can be represented in two ways as we have already learned one is dt graph second one is vt graph then with respect to these two graphs even we have come across some other terms like the slope of dt gives speed or velocity slope of vt gives acceleration following slope of dt gives velocity slope of vt gives acceleration then after that we come across the area under graph of acceleration area under vt graph area under vt graph it is always displacement whether it may be constant velocity or uniform acceleration right once i repeat the area under vt graph of uniform acceleration is displacement then area under vt graph of constant velo constant velocity that is also displacement and even we have come across very good number of numerical problems based on these right now in today's class we are moving to the continued part of again graphical representation dear students you all know that when the body may be at rest or may be in motion some physical quantities can be described is it not could you if so first you tell what is my state am i at rest or am i in motion i am at rest right then what are the physical quantities you can describe what are those physical quantities one is the force exerted by the ground on me force can be described my mass can be described my weight can be described is it not and the distance covered by me what is the distance covered here now it is zero because i am at rest but time it is keep on running related to this chapter we will consider only some physical quantities they are one is distance and second one is time now when i start moving or when a body start moving or when a body is in motion what are the physical quantities can be described yes prashant sir you may unmute Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. I'll give chance. Okay. Yes, you tell. When the body is in motion, what are the physical quantities can be described? Hmm? Yes. Speed. Ah. Oh. Yes. Very good. Speed. Area. Yes. Yeah. Area. Oh, okay. Let me accept that. Then, see okay. myself only. Velocity. Velocity. Time. Acceleration. This chapter we have already come across many physical quantities. Almost all physical quantities will come with respect Displacement. to this. Displacement. Time. Displacement. Wait, wait. Ah, now wait. I am just go for reminding you. Okay. when the body may be at rest or may be in motion we can describe some physical quantities are uh, one is the distance traveled by the body then time taken time taken by the body or time for which the body moves or the time for which the body will be at rest then if it is moving you may calculate its speed or velocity if there is change in the velocity you can tell about its acceleration if the speed is decreasing you can describe the deceleration is it not so yes, these sir. are the physical quantity your your displacement just i'll take yes displacement time 
velocity and acceleration. There is a relationship among these physical quantities. And this relationship was observed by a great scientist, he is Sir Isaac Newton. By observing the motion of the body, he has given the relationship among these physical quantities in terms of equations. And these equations wow. are known as equations of motion. motion. Equations of motion. Do you know what are these equations of motion? If anybody knows, just tell your name, I'll give chance. Yes, yes sir, Ashwan. Please tell your name, I'll give you a chance. Sir, Yathin and Ashwan. Ah, Yathin and Ashwan. Yeah, you may tell the equations. Sir, V is equal to ut plus half at square. Very good. Oh, mm. oh, no, no. Yes, Sir, S, uh, Sir, V is equal to U plus AT. Ah. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Very good. 2S is equal to V square minus U square. Very good, very good. These are the equations of motion. In today's image also, I have given these equations. Hope that you might have observed. Is it not? Yes, sir. Oh, just observe it. What say, right? Please don't go for copying anything. Equations of motion. Equations of motion. And these equations are given by Sir Isaac Newton. They are, the first one is, it is V equal to U plus AT. Second one, S is equal to UT plus half a t square. Third one, it is 2as is equal to v square minus u square. So these are the three important equations of motion. Here, yeah. you can come to know that the physical quantities that are involved. Babel, don't try it. I'm not a burst in a month. See that. Here, velocity. Final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, time. time. Second equation. Displacement. Initial velocity, time, and acceleration. Next, third equation. Acceleration, displacement, final velocity, and initial velocity. Followed. Here, first equation. First equation is known as velocity time relation. Sir? First equation is known as velocity time relation. Sir, at the Second third equation. equation. Pardon me? At third equation, there is no time, sir. There is no time. Time is there. Ah, in this, ah, ah, no time. In this only acceleration, displacement, velocity. Second equation, it is called Position, time relation. Position, time relation. Then third one. Position, velocity, velocity relation. relation. Position, velocity relation. You all may be thinking that, sir, how to remember these, which is only velocity time relation, which is position time relation, and which is Time velocity relation. Is there any identification to remember these e in the easiest way? If anybody knows, just tell your name and give you a chance. Anybody knows? Nobody. It is very simple to remember. Look here. First equation. V equal to U plus AT. Observe first variable velocity, first physical quantity, velocity. Last physical quantity, time, velocity, time relation. Next, here, first physical quantity, displacement. 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 Time. Last physical quantity, time. Time. Time, time relation. And we take this as position, time relation. 
Next third one. Last physical quantity. Last physical quantity is final initial uh, velocity. Generally, we take this as velocity. This is as position. Position velocity relation. Is it not simple? Is yes, it not sir. simple to remember? Giridhar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now, we have derivations with respect to all these. Manya J. Jain. Just go for reading all the three equations. Velocity is equals to initial, initial plus. No, no. Read directly like this. V equal to U plus AT in this way. V is U plus AT. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. S is equal to AS is equal to V square minus U square. Okay. Sanvi, once you read. V is equal to U plus AT. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. 2A is, is equal to V square minus U square. Very good. Very good. If I ask you, which is velocity time relation, what do you say, Sanvi? V is equal to U plus AT. V is equal to U plus AT. Similarly, position time relation. S equal to ut plus half at square. Position velocity relation is 2as equal to v square minus u square. Dear students, I can give you 100% assurance that among these three, one equation will be given in the examination for derivation. 100% good, not 100. Even you can take more than that also. Whether it may be school examination or board examination. One equation will be given in the examination for derivation. Okay, let us go for deriving all these equations one by one. Now you write side D. Equations of motion. Side D. Equations of motion. Right. Of motion. First one. First one is it is equal to u plus at. V is equal to u plus at. In bracket, we write it as velocity time. Velocity time relation. Next. Second. Yes is equal to UT plus half AT square. In bracket, you may write it is position time relation. Position time relation. Third one, two AS is equal to V square minus U square. Two AS equal to V square minus U square. This is position velocity relation. Position velocity relation. Position velocity relation. Abhinandan, have you written? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yagna? Dagandeep? Gaurav? Yes, very good. Very good. Madan? Yes, sir. Oh, very good point. Amok BM? Still you are writing? Finish the? Okay. Namit? Rutashri? Yes, yes. As you have to write with me, even I too started writing after my being. Now, dear students, let's go for deriving all these terms, all these equations. Please do remember the terms involved. Very simple. 
displacement time initial velocity final velocity and acceleration it is to na nenu nenu pidko i'll go for giving you derivation shall i repeat Okay. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Sir. In the examination point of view, the question will be asked like this: Amrita, Kerala, question like this: Derive the derive the equation of motion v equal to u plus a. This is one way. Or else, derive equation related to velocity time relation got it or is derive velocity time relation equation these are the different ways they may ask the question in the examination so now you write the side heading it is anna exam nal kottirange tholta idini right derive the equation ग्राफिकली इन क्वेश्चन केस्ड ऑन दिस डिराइव द इक्वेशन ऑफ पोजिशन टाइम रिलेशन हम कस्ट इन पोजिशन टाइम रिलेशन सर इट इज वेलोसिटी टाइम रिलेशन सर राइट वेलोसिटी टाइम रिलेशन वेलोसिटी टाइम रिलेशन Yes, students. One simple question will be asked to you all. Shall I? Shall I? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Please go through the terms involved in the equation. We have final velocity, initial sir. velocity, acceleration, acceleration, time, time, distance. Ah, distance. Vt graph. Oh, okay. Vt graph, sir. Now my question is: Should Vt we go graph? For dt graph or vt graph vt graph vt graph vt graph vt graph right say yes vt graph say yes could you tell why should we use vt graph say yes mh sir because acceleration is not accurate for because of acceleration oh very good in this equation the term acceleration is there hence we have to we have to use vt graph so now let's go for drawing the vt graph right take scale and pencil take scale and pencil amok are you ready with the material amok k okay trace yourself Say yes, M H. Ah, huh. take scale and pencil and draw V T graph. It is the horizontal line is prime axis and the vertical line you all know that this is velocity axis. Now. Mark it. It is time in second. Then this is vertical line is called y-axis, also called velocity axis, denoted as v, and its SI unit is meter per second. Or up. Now just observe. In this equation, we have a 
Observe. In this equation, we have acceleration, right? Now I'm going to show you two graphs. You just tell me which graph should be taken. Sanjana SN, you know, explain what you have to do with the character. I mean, at the same time, you should also write. But you, your activities will always be converse. It is our reverse cities. And explain what you have to do with the character. You simply will be doing some other activity. Just, I'm going to draw two graphs, identify which graph should be used for deriving this. This is first one. It is second. Which one should be used? Second one. Second one. Second one. Second one. Enough. Second one should be used. Here we have uniform acceleration. What the, in the equation, we have an acceleration. If I go for taking this graph, here, what is the acceleration? Zero. Constant Constant velocity. Zero. Acceleration will be zero. zero. I have to use this graph. Yes. Draw the graph of uniform acceleration. Graph of Uniform acceleration. It is, we call it as O. This you can call it as P. OP is the graph of uniform acceleration. Here also, I'm going to take a part of it. I take the part as AB. This is A and this B. Dear students, listen. You all know that with respect to graph, we have come across two important terms. Some are case covered. One is flow, second one is area. Area. Here, should I go for using slope or area to derive? Area. I'm okay. Slope. Stop slope. biting your nail. Slope, sir. Slope. 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 A to x axis and B to x axis. This will intersect the x axis at point C and write the time as T1. Next, here BD is drawn perpendicular to x axis and the time at D is. P2. As we are going to take the slope, draw the line parallel to x axis through A. And similarly, another line parallel to x axis through B. B, C, D. This is E. This is F. And you may call this as G. Look here. You all know that A is the initial velocity. It is denoted as U. And B is final velocity of the body and is denoted as B at F. Look here. Here we are going to take the slope of AB. Hence, I take the triangle AGB. A, B. A, G, B. Now you may stop writing and look at them. Sanjana, now you should not go for writing anything. 
ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊ ಕೇತನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಕೇತನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಾನ್ವಿ ಚೇತನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಮರ್ಥ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಗುಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಮೋಹಿತ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಧೃತಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಧೃತಿ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಗರ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಸರಿಯ ಸಾಯಿ ಗೌರವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ let us go for finding the slope of ab here all right slope of ab and you all know that slope is nothing but ratio of vertical distance to the horizontal distance vertical distance is bg bg by horizontal distance it is bg where bg bg is nothing but v minus u v minus v minus u and g t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 minus t1 t mobile idiya bartta illa t1 and this is to be written as v by t right this is acceleration acceleration slope of vt graph gives acceleration ಟು u plus ab hence it is derived is it not simple yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. oh, yes. very simple oh one side tell me using the slope of the graph and show that it is acceleration then using the acceleration formula go for cross multiply ab minus u as for minus u to the left hand side it becomes plus u then v is equal to u plus a that's all now but we don't really have to write all the terms right then just a very simple so here what is op indicates uniform acceleration uniform velocity right consider consider a body a body moving with uniform acceleration moving with uniform acceleration yep in bracket to my right it is op next step in that we have taken ab as a part right ab is the part of op ab is a part of op next you all know that if you take ab as the part a will be initial velocity b will be final velocity hmm? so now we have drawn ac perpendicular to x axis bd perpendicular to x axis write the same draw ac perpendicular to x axis and bd perpendicular to x axis next draw bd parallel to x axis and yes b parallel to x axis right draw eg parallel to x axis through a through a and yes b and yes b parallel to x axis 
x-axis through B. Next. So what is G? G is the point of intersection of this parallel line and perpendicular line. Just you may write, G is the point of intersection. Point of intersection. Ora. Yes, sir. Then after that, you write calculation in this. Slope of AB in graph, slope of AB equal to BG by AG. BG by AG. That is equal to write V minus U by T2 minus T1. Then write V minus U by T. And below that you write it is acceleration. Then after that, put in place symbol and write. We know that. We know that acceleration is V minus U by T. Then cross multiply. A T is equal to V minus U. Then transfer minus U to the left hand side. It becomes plus U. Then A T as it is equal to V. Then V is equal to U plus A T. And below that you write, hence it is derived. And hence the equation is derived. Hence the equation is derived. Hence, the equation is derived. If anybody is having any doubt, please ask me. If no doubt, we will move on to deriving another equation. Dhruti, shall we go for next one? Okay, right. Trupti, yes. Fahim, Shall we move on to the next equation? Okay. Akshay is already yes, said. Okay. okay, okay. Lekha. And another interesting part of this chart, this concept is in deriving all the three equations of motion, we go for using the same graph. The same graph. And after you have same explanation on Only this calculation part changes. So now you write the second one. Derive the equation S equal to ut plus half a t. Quickly. Big, big, very, very. Madan, write the question. Written up. Very good boy. Then draw the same graph. Draw it. And what is this is also important. Yes, is equal to ut plus half a t square by graphical method. And this is position time relation. Right now, position time relation. Know the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Use the DT graph. VT only. Why we are using VT? Because in the equation, we have acceleration. That is why VT graph. Right quickly. Draw that X and Y axis. X axis is called time axis. Y axis is called. Yes, okay. If unwanted sound is coming from your home, please mute the audio. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes,
ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರೂ ಇರ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ ಅನ್ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ next blow the line open which represents uniform acceleration uniform acceleration next take a part of it ab ab and draw the perpendicular line from a as well as from b next draw sir, the line sir what is oh, that okay. po- position sir position harsh jain kushan sit properly and right kushan sir position by time relation means what sir displacement time relation so in place of displacement we have taken position last term time they we have written as it is then after drawing this graph who for writing this consider consider a body moving with uniform acceleration uniform acceleration sir in exams also you have to write that uh, consider is there no sir yes. a points yes yes right next ab is a part of ob ab is the part of ob ananya is in next draw ac perpendicular to x axis and bd perpendicular to x axis next after writing this draw bg parallel to x axis through a and yes b parallel to x axis through b next g is the point of intersection g is the point of intersection over up yes sir oh now everybody should stop writing i'll go for explaining look here should stop writing and look at the board observe the equation the equation is s equal to ut plus half at square as we need acceleration we have taken velocity time graph but here we have displacement or distance then how do you go for finding the distance using the graph anybody area of triangle area of area of triangle area of trapezium dear yes, students you all know that we have learned that area under vt graph area under vt graph is displacement right hence we can go for using that concept just observe look at the board here are right area under vt graph area under vt graph is displacement if so can i write the displacement that is s is equal to area of abdc here we have taken ab is a part hence we can go for taking area of 
A, B, D, C. Could you tell me what geometrical figure is A, B, D, C? Using the formula yeah. Is it possible to get the equation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The students, in A of trapezium, we have a formula that is half into H into A plus B. This is the formula. It is in product form. But here, look at here it is ut plus half at square. One term and this is second term. Both are separated by plus sign. So, as you can learn in one thing, triangle and square. Two geometrical figures. Triangle and square. Triangle and square. One is triangle, second one is rectangle. Got it? You know that square is also a rectangle. Is it not? Square of yes, the rectangle of 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 a, B, C, D. This is equal. You all know that area of triangle is half into base into I, base MH. Let your concentration be here. Alien Bhattacharya. Teacher explain Madhavaka, correct the cares cover. And you should also listen to the instructions given by the teacher. Then you can understand the concept. Now you have to just listen. Evening, Barita Wadra, Amen and Al Bari Wadra, in Sumna Kutra. Area of triangle, AGV, area of triangle, it is half into base into I. Here base is AG, height is BG, right? So I can write it as half into AG into BG plus area of rectangle. Area of rectangle is length into breadth. Length is CD. 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 CD into DG. Now this is equal to half into AG. Observe AG. T2 minus T2. T1 minus T2. T2 minus T1. And BG. Observe. V minus T. B minus B minus Q. B minus Q. Plus C D into D G. Where C D minus C D is T two minus T one. T two minus T one into D G. D G. Observe D G is one. U. 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 Minus zero. Zero. U. 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 It is equal to half into T2 minus T1 is T. Then this is V minus it. Plus T2 T. minus T1, it T. is T. Then into U. U. Now this is equal to here half into V minus U. V minus U into T. Or as you may write this as T into V minus U by 2 plus this is UT. T into U is nothing but UT. Trupti, understood? Trupti. Also, it's uh, TU. Uh, now you just observe. Average. In the equation, we have half AT square. Then, then, T as it is, as it is, half A T is one T is there. Please mute your audio. Now, 
now observe it. Here, v minus u is there. You all know that a is equal to v minus u by t. We want substitution for v minus u. v minus u is equal to a into t. In place of v minus u, I'm writing a t plus this is u t. Now look here, it is half into a into t into t. This is a t squared plus u t. So s is equal to u t plus half a t squared. Did you all understand? Sir, last second step on the second Explain last third step. Okay, I'll explain that. Now you should go on writing with me. Yeah. I'll write the calculation. Start writing with me. You know that the area under VT graph is acceleration, sorry, displacement. You know that the area under area under Vt graph, Vt graph is displacement. Area under Vt graph is displacement. After this, you have to write displacement, that is S is equal to area under AB. It is area of Cartesian AB DC, right? Area of a, B, D, C. <clears throat> and this should be split up as area of triangle plus area of rectangle. Because in the equation, we have two terms. Right? Area so we can take directly trapezium only, no, sir? A, G, B plus area of rectangle A, G, D, C. Earlier only I have told you, the whole trapezium. In the equation, we have two terms. Those terms should be separated. Hence, this whole figure, whole trapezium is uh, divided into two parts, triangle and rectangle. So, area of rectangle is AGDC. AGDC. This is equal. Right, area of triangle. It is half into base into height. Base is AG, height is BG. Right? AG into BG. Plus, Moita, are you writing? Already, or is already written? The area of rectangle, length into breadth. Length is CD, breadth is DG. Right? CD into DG. Next, this is equal to half into, you all know that AG. <coughs> AG is T2 minus T2 T1. Minus T1. Right. T2 minus T1. DG. BG is V minus, minus U. U. V minus U. Plus CD. CD again it is T2 minus T1. I don't have space there. I am writing here. T2 minus T1. Next, DG. TG. It is Q, Q. minus C0. You may write directly as U. Q. This is equal to half into. T2 minus T1 is T into V minus U plus again T2 minus T1 is T in bracket you may write U. U. This is equal to here half into T is written as it is. I go for taking substitution for V minus U. So, Adana, you work in Kalimunan, right? A is equal to V minus U by T and V minus U is equal to A into T. 
So in place of b minus u, I'll write a t then plus u t. Next, after this, this is equal to multiply t into a t. It is a t square. Half into a t square plus u t as it is. And you can rearrange the terms as u t plus half a t square. u t plus half a t square. You write the displacement, yes. Yes is equal to u t plus half a t square. Write the conclusion. Then the equation is derived. Hence, the equation is derived. Is here. Yes. Any doubts? If no doubt, then we'll move on to the third equation. No, sir. No, sir. If so, then go for writing the third equation, third heading as question. Derive the equation. Derive the equation. Derive the equation. Two years. Two years is equal to b square minus u square. Derive the equation 2as equal to minus u square by graphical method. In bracket you write position velocity relation position velocity relation now draw the same graph. Even I took to go for drawing it again. Yes. Draw x and y axis, then after that, you draw a line which represents uniform acceleration. Then mark the points A and B. Mark the points A and B. Now draw the perpendicular from A and B to the x-axis. Please write with me, don't waste your time. Draw the perpendicular from A to the x-axis. It intersects the x-axis at point C and take the time as P1. Next, draw the perpendicular from B to x-axis. This will intersect the x-axis at D and call the time as T2. Next one. Draw the line EG parallel to x axis through A. Draw FB parallel to x axis through B. Wow. 
Now, you write the same information. Consider a body moving with uniform acceleration. Consider a body moving with uniform acceleration. Next one. AB is the part of OB. AB is the part of OP. Next, draw AC perpendicular to X axis and BD perpendicular to X axis. Kushal, have written. Fear. Kushal. Okay. Next. Draw EG parallel to X axis through A and FB parallel to X axis through B. Without seeing the board only, you can write yourself because already we have written these points many times. Next, G is the point of intersection. Over up. Mother, over. Mother, next week. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ananya, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Carry on. Amulya, CK. Rachit? Now, you may stop writing. Observe. Go through the equation. It is 2a is equal to v square minus u square. R is it is v square minus u square is equal to 2a is. Gagande. Look at the board. V square minus U square equal to 2As. Both are same only. Here also we need acceleration. Hence I'm, we have taken VT graph. Then displacement is also there. If displacement is there, what should be taken? VT graph. Area. 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 Yes. Area. Area under VT graph. We all know that it is displacement. Write the same. Copy this point. Yet we know that the area under VT graph is displaced. Shreyas, Shreyas, MH. Okay. Now write with me. We have written area under VT graph is displaced, right? Therefore, Displacement is area, area under this, just by marking, area under AB. It is area of trapezium, AB, DC. Right, area of trapezium, AB, DC. Now you just tell me, is it necessary to split up this? Sir. Adan? Yes, sir. Adan? Yes, sir. Yes. No, sir. No, sir. No need. Let me tell you the reason. Here, it's not necessary. The reason is acceleration and displacement are together. There is only one term. Angagi, let us go for taking the whole trapezium. Here, Angagi. Area of trapezium, you all know that it is half into h into a plus b. A plus b. Here, I'll write half into height. Please write with me. Height is either a or c. Any one of these two can be taken. I take this is c into sum of parallel sides. The parallel sides are one is a c and another one is b d. Right. A c. Plus BD. 
this is equal to half into C2 minus T1. Very good. C2 minus T1. C2 minus T1. Please write with me. T2 yes, minus T1 into AC. V minus, v minus U. AC. Yeah. V v minus U. This is V. Look here. AC. U, U. minus 0. U minus 0. U. U. Only yes. U. Only. Only yeah. U. U. Plus. B D, B to D, it is B minus zero. B minus zero is only B. Only B. This, this is equal. It is half into T two minus T one is T into U plus U B. Plus v. Dear students, now you may stop writing. Nami, look here. There, in the equation, two is there, here also. Yes is there, here also. Yes. Then, is there T? No. In the no. equation, I mean, time as there is no time here, we need to take substitution for time. In the substitution question, just observe the word. Afterwards, you can write, just look here. here. We all know that A is equal to V minus U by T. I want substitution for T. So T is equal to V minus U by A. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll write half as it is into T. T is nothing but V minus U by A. V minus U by A into that is U plus V is there. I'll write it as V plus U. It doesn't make any difference. Next, this is it. So, please observe the word and go through numerator terms. Akshay. A square minus B square. Ah, very good, very good. Excellent part. Already told that B minus U into V plus U is of the form A minus B A square. B square. A square minus B square. Hence, I can write it as B square minus U square. Mother Nichvi, your activities are quite different. You'll hear the headphone and you'll just remove that and you'll touch the mobile. You'll be playing with that. It's very unfortunate. You didn't mind. Multiply the denominator. 2A to A. 2A. Just observe in LHS, what is there? 2A. LHS. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Now you may go for cross multiplication. Two A into S. Two A, yes. Yes. This is equal to V square minus minus U square. square. Observe the equation. Two A is equal to V square minus U square. Hence it is true. Ah, yeah. Right. Hence. The equation is derived. Hence, the equation is derived. Over up. Yeah. Your students, yes, repeatedly, I have been reminding you that these three derivations are very important in the examination point of view. Definitely, one will be asked. One will be asked in the, every exam. You may go through your previous year exams also. You'll come to know in that question paper, any one of the three questions will be there. <clears throat> okay. Your students, based on these three equations of motion, we have some 
important numerical problems. So now let's move on to numerical problems. Right. So numerical problems. Numerical problems. Now, first one. Shall I give? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. This was given in the examination. Double star mark. Right. It is. A bus starting from west. A bus starting from west. From west moves with a uniform acceleration. Moves with uniform acceleration. Uniform. Acceleration, acceleration of zero point one meter per second square. Zero point one meter per second square for two minutes. For two minutes. Full stop. Fine. Fine. In that case. It is the speed acquired, the speed acquired, and second one, B, it is the distance traveled, the distance traveled. Speed acquired and distance from. Now, once you go through the given statement and you'll come to know the terms that are involved in this statement. Fahim, Fahim, Babel. Look here. Prachwar SM. Please go through the statement. A bus starting from less moves with a uniform acceleration of 0 0.1 meter per second square. Harsh Jain, stop writing and look at the word. And it will move for two minutes. With this information, we have to find out the speed as well as the distance traveled. Dear students, first let us write the known physical quantities with their units. First, a bus is starting from rest. If it starts from the rest, then what will be the initial velocity? Zero. 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 Then you can write it is u is equal to zero. Or even you can write zero meter per second, initial velocity. It starts from rest, then moves with a uniform acceleration of 0 0.1 meter per second square. What does it represent? Acceleration. 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 A equal to 0 0.1 meter per second square. Yes, sir. Shreyas. Time is two minutes. Wait, wait, wait. Shreyas. Sir, explain one second, sir. 120 seconds. Harsh Jai. Look at Here, they are given uniform acceleration. It is 0 0.1 meter per second. Acceleration is denoted by you. Then time has been given. 
टाइम इज टू मिनट्स वन ट्वेंटी And we are going to find out the speed or velocity. It is question mark. Twelve meter per second. B R E S. Now let's move on to calculation. So speed is twelve meter per second, sir. Observe. It. Observe. Look at the board. Please don't write. Just look at. You can only get speed vector. Speed vector is equal to. We have a formula. Speed is equal to either d by t or s by t. That's the use mark. S by t. But here time is known. Do you know the distance? No sir. No sir. No sir. No. How can we go for you finding v when you know u a t? Sir, first we should find s sir. V is equal to u when plus. We have an equation which gives the relationship among these u a t b. Just look here. I'll write all the equations of motion. V is equal to u plus a t. S is equal to u t plus half a t square. And third one, two a s is equal to v square minus u square. U square. Sir, v equals to v equals to u plus a t. V plus a t. B. U A T. First equation. We can go for using first equation. First equation. Did you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. No, sir. Who is no? Sir, Shubhan P. Nalpat, sir. Huh? Sir, Shubhan P. Nalpat, sir. Ah, okay. One second. Listen here. We are going to find out the speed. To find out the speed, we have the formula. It is s by t or d by t. We we know the type, but best is to find out the speed. That is under such condition, we will go for using equations of motion. Okay. These are the equations. Sir, echo. Sir, why is it echo? Echo. Let's identify which is most suitable. Observe the terms given. B is equal to your question. U A T here, U A T here U. There is no T. In the even use one of them. Among these two, we want velocity. Hence, we will go for using first equation of motion. Right. By equation of motion. By equation of motion. That is, V is equal to U T plus R A T. V is equal to U plus A T. U plus A T. Then substitute where U is zero, A is zero point one, and time is it is one twenty second. Sanjana ji, are you following? Are you following? Okay. Sanjana yes sir. Yekna. Shreya. Good girl. This is equal to yeah, zero. We may multiply directly R S. So I want this this one into fraction. Zero point one is there. You can write it as one by ten into one. Twelve. Zero zero. Get cancer. Twelve one is twelve. Twelve plus zero is twelve only. Twelve. This is equal to twelve. What is the unit? Meter per second. Twelve meter per second. Twelve meter. Speed of acquiring one meter per second. Next, we have to find out B one. That is distance traveled. Thousand four hundred and forty meter. 
सर सेवन ट्वेंटी मीटर सेवन ट्वेंटी मीटर सर आंसर डिस्टेंस ट्रावल वेदर यू गो फॉर यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला बी इक्वल टू बी बाई डी आर एस इज इक्वल टू यूनिट ऑफ मास स्क्वायर सर सेकेंड इक्वेशन डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू बी इक्वल टू व्हाट इज द स्पीड क्वेश्चन third equation of motion yes. you know that initial velocity time acceleration you can also use second equation yavadadru use pan either second equation of motion or third equation of motion which one you will go for second equation second equation second equation by equation of motion Y equation of motion. Sir, why cannot we use D is equal to V into T, sir? You know, but that one another thing is there. Even this will also come for the calculation. That another one, for a very simple thing. Why we are using regular formula? If we are not able to use regular formula, then we will move on to equations of motion. Sir, in test, which we use to use, sir? Pardon me. In test, which formula we have to use it? Which form? Which equation? Equation. Either second equation or third equation. Yeah, that's all. No problem. S is equal to u t plus half a t square, where u is initial velocity zero, time it is one twenty seconds plus half into a is acceleration. This is. Zero point one, and time it is one twenty seconds per second. This is equal zero into any number is zero plus half into zero point one can be written as one by ten, and one twenty volts per second. I will write one twenty two times. Here one zero one zero get cancelled. This is equal. Here, you, even you can also cancel. Two ones are two six are. How much you got? Seven twenty. Seven twenty meter. Seven twenty meter. Seven twenty meters. In note, I'll uh, I'll make you to write. You know, let us come to know whether we get the same answer if we go for using the third equation. Note at the bottom. Note two a s is equal to v square minus u square. Then two a is zero point one. S is unknown. V is final velocity twelve twelve volts per minus u is initial velocity zero zero volts per. Now this is two by ten into s is equal to one square is one forty four minus zero it is just one forty four. Then s is equal to one forty four. Here you can cancel one zero five zero into five. One forty-four five zero. Five four zero twenty-two. Five four zero twenty. Seven hundred twenty. This is equal to seven twenty. Sir, why answer came different, sir? <clears throat> If you go for using the equations of motion. We will get the same answer only. But sir, if we use distance is equal to speed into time, we will we will get seven twenty meters, sir. 
No, no, no. P is how much we got? One twelve. Time. One twenty. You get thousand four hundred and forty meter. Yeah. In that case, we are not considering the acceleration. You know. Yeah. It is not change in velocity. It is just a velocity. That is why this formula cannot be used. D is equal to V T cannot be used. We have change in velocity in the unit time, acceleration. That is why we will go for using the equation, uh, equation of motion formula. Right. Equation of motion. Can you start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, if it is so. I'll give you one more statement. You try to do that yourself. Right. The brakes applied to a car. Second one, sir. Second one. Second one. Second one. Second one. To a car, to a car produced, produced. Do you tell acceleration or deceleration? Deceleration. 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 Yes, there was acceleration. Acceleration of six meter per second square. And the data that you have to Minus six meter per second square. Breaks apply for the speed minus six meter per second square. It takes negative acceleration. It's A equal to minus six as a vector. Minus six meter per second square. Remember, in the opposite direction to the motion, in the opposite direction, opposite direction to the motion. If the car takes two seconds to stop, if the car takes two seconds to stop, stop again, what will be the final velocity? Zero. 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 Zero meter per second. Uh, yeah. After the application of brake. After the application of brakes, brakes to come on, then calculate, then calculate the distance traveled, distance traveled, traveled during this time. Calculate the distance traveled during this time. We are in continuous. Answer your answer should be 12 meter. One meter has already been given acceleration of 6 meter per second square. Andre, as the body is decreasing, the car is decreasing its speed. Therefore, it, it will be negative acceleration. Negative acceleration A equal to minus 6. Meter per second square and total. Okay. Sir, what is that version after application of brakes? Okay, you may stop writing. Please stop writing. Abhinandan, have you written? Yes, sir. Okay. Prajwal SM. Okay. Listen to me. Stop writing. Dhruti, stop your calculation. Hmm. It should be done by yourself. And while coming to the next class, it should be completed and come. Okay, next. And tomorrow you'll be having the performance test through Google form in the evening from 7 to 8.30. And the syllabus, it is motion chapter. 
what I have covered up to today. This much will be there. So please prepare for that. Tomorrow, sir. Correct. Timing. Yeah, tomorrow. Sir, time. Tomorrow evening, not morning. Morning as usual class. Evening test will be there. Yes, sir. Now it is time up. Yes, sir. Want to ask me anything? Sir, tomorrow you will give worksheet, sir. Certainly. That is regular work only. Hmm. Okay, now it is time up. Now let me close the class. Sir, send recording. Thank you, sir. What about our derivations we have done today? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Bye, sir. Thank you, okay, sir. Okay, okay. Bye, sir. Bye, bye, bye. Say a close. Bye, sir. The brother is playing there. You may close it. Prashant, sir. Prashant, sir. Prashant, sir. Sir, bye, sir. Huh? Okay, good. Everybody can close yourself. Leave them. Yeah, Leave the class.